So, your daughter's wedding. No, oh, it's amazing. So they did all their all the girls and the uh, my daughter was in the wedding. Mm -hmm. And they uh, did all their makeup. And makeup. Had, like, a so she comes out. Hair. Here you go. And I saw. And I said no. I said hashtag gun range. Oh, she's so cute. No, no, no. All, you wake up. Thirteen one, years old. You wake up one day and your daughter is like a, like becoming a woman, and it's like nope. Eh. Go back to Legos. Barbies. No. Nope. I said no, but she's just so beautiful. Can I just oh tell gosh. you? This is your this is your only I daughter. Know. My daughter just got married. I know. Can I just give you a little bit of advice? I want it. Okay. My daughter was 13 yesterday. I know. It happened so fast. My you daughter blink. was one last year, literally a day or two ago. You blink. And she was just, like you said, she was just, the other day she was three, Katie was three years old saying, Uncle Scott. I know. <laughs> Uncle Scott. You used to tease her so much. Oh, I had so fun with Katie. I have so fun with Sa But Savvy now, like, she's, she's, she's tease proof. The boys and me have teased her so much. Like, she's just no, epic. She is. She she's, is she's epic at being teased now. Yeah. Like, we were teasing her at, at, at IHOP yesterday. The other, she's so funny because she orders, she's like, um, I would like to have the chicken and waffles, uh, but instead of waffles, can I have eggs? We'll just order chicken and eggs. <laughs> I don't understand that. I'm going to have the hamburger, but instead of the hamburger, can I have an omelet? I'm going to have a hot fledge sundae, but you can hold the fudge and put on strawberries and some shortcake. And no ice cream. <laughs> and put it in a blender. It's called a shake. <laughs> anyway, she's uh, so we'll be cute. right she's back. So, she, she is easy, easy to joke with. She's for sure. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Scott. Pastor Jason, it's good to have you with us today. Monday! Yep. They're um, looking so good. What do they do with a new subscriber? Uh, type in where you're from. We like to read that on Wednesdays. And uh, don't forget to share. Share. And like, 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 like. Bologna sandwich it today. Yep. As we're talking about still, we're talking about love. We are. We've, we've gone through one week and we're continuing on. Today, yep. on love. Because today. Here's the thing. How, how much is it in the Bible? Like it's... God is love. Love, right. And he command Jesus gave us a command. He says, "Let me give you a commandment. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you, you know, uh, blah 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 blah." But no, no, no. He's just like love. Yes, there's that, yeah, exactly. And so uh, today we're going to be reading in uh, Ephesians chapter six and verse twelve. Oh, this is good. Um, and and it's not not something you could type in the word love as a search term, okay. but it gives you it really helps you I think in your strategy and how to deal with people. And that's what we're doing right Cause, now. Because because the love part is meant for who? For people. <laughs> <laughs> right? Love one another. Love one another. Well, they're hard to love. Exactly. And that's why he had to really beat us up. Really. And that's, you know, even raising your kids, the goal for me, one of the big goals is for them to learn to love each other. Yeah. And that's a, that's a, that's a battle. Yeah. Because, you know, they knocked over my Legos and they're watching the show I don't want to watch. They're touching me. They why are they stuff. touching why me? Why are you touching me? Here, smell this. That's what my brother used to do to me all the time. Here, smell this. Listen, if, I you're, love the game. if you're a younger sibling... I'm going to save you a lot of pain right now. Never smell this and never touch this. Whatever it is. Here, smell this. Remember the pepper? Oh, Here, my poor smell this. brother. Well, that's Looney Tunes' fault. I love Looney Tunes. <laughs> but if you blow pepper in somebody's face, they're supposed to sneeze. They're not supposed to get it in their eyeballs and burn their eyes. I was the first to experience what, what was now called pepper spray. <laughs> But it was actually, I invented pepper spray. It was the organic version. No, no. When you realize, <laughs> I filled my hand full of pepper. It was, it was a half. And I went, Jason. He's like, what? He's always so cute. And I went, oh. And it just blew pepper into his eyeballs. You know, how, like you really don't remember things from when you were three, except for maybe a couple of key moments. That one? That's one of them. I actually remember <laughs> being three years old. And, and there's a, uh, if you're wondering what that noise is, we apologize. They're mowing the lawn. Or they're, they're taking care of God's house. Thank they you. They are. Okay, so. But I remember that moment says, too because Dad was not very pleasant. No, right? Because let's just you say, were in a lot let's of say trouble. this: love is discipline. Yes, and he loved the hell out of me. <laughs> he did, and you needed the hell loved out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Ephesians chapter six and verse twelve: For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. So this is not my battle. That, and I'm sorry, right I'm going to stop. I, okay. I mean, he goes on to say what your struggle is against. It's against the unseen forces. It's right. the things underneath all It's these about things. your I mean, thoughts and my thoughts towards you. It wasn't what Eve did. It was the, the serpent in the tree deceiving her. Right. So, so, yeah, there was repercussions for what she did, but it was the serpent. And the, that was the real fight. The real battle was the things that are happening in the unseen world and the fears that people are dealing with. It's, it's the, the things and it, people have issues. They do. And hurting people hurt, eat people. Right. I've said that before. And so he says this, 
stop fighting people. Wow. Right? Your struggle isn't with the with, guy at work. It's right. not. You think it's with the guy at work, but it isn't with the guy no. at work. It's what it's what his childhood was. It's what things impacted him. It's it's the it's what he's going through. It's what he's going through. There's so many times that we don't realize. Well, she's a blah 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 at the office, and you didn't realize that her mom has cancer. Her mom is going through. Right? She, maybe she just had a death in the family. So what we do is we just assume they're they're a jerk. Not realizing and giving the same compassion that God gives to us, that in the midst of your mess, you have a mess. You're, you're acting like a mess because you're in a mess. And what is my job? To make you have a bigger mess? No, my job is to help you through your mess, to love you in spite of your mess, to give you patience, to give you encouragement, to build you up, to love those that hate you, to say kind things to those that don't say kind things to you. It's crazy that as you begin to love them, all of a sudden the mess doesn't become a mess. And, and Jesus loved the world that way, didn't he? He did. He, he was demonstrating for us. So here's the thing we have to know about Jesus. is He, he was discerning, like he discerned stuff. Like he knew right. what was going on in the unseen places, right? And so as he's healing people and loving people and feeding thousands of people, here's what he knew for sure. These same people that I'm loving are going to crucify me one day. Right. They're going to demand that I die. Right. And so look at this kind of love because, see, our high priest... He walked in our shoes. He lived the suffering that we live in a worse capacity than us because he died an undeserving death. Right. He was falsely accused. And that's the, one of the worst feelings when you get falsely accused. And then, how, but that's, yes, that's what, that's the worst. Well, I didn't do it. They're doing it. And they treated me. And he was, he was, did Jesus get what he deserved? <laughs> no. He got what we deserved. Right. He yet, took what we deserved. Yet my question our to you is our on the, pain, our sickness. On the cross, was he angry with them? Was he talking bad about them? He no. should have been. Should have been. I would have been. Yeah. But what come down do? off that cross and save yourself. I'll come down off that yeah, okay. I'll, I'll show you right now. <laughs> Didn't you want to just come down I'm for a, a second? Remember, remember what Elijah did? He said, if I'm a man of God, may fire fall from heaven and consume you and your 50 men. <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's what I probably would have done. But Jesus says, Father, forgive them. Mm. They know not what they do. Uh, what a powerful thing. And that we're called to forgive as Christ has forgiven. So what was he doing? He was not fighting people. No, he was, he was forgiving people. He was loving he people. He was loving people. He was laying down him, and that's what he said. He said, no, love as I've loved you. And then he said, no greater love hath any man than he lay his life down for another. And Steve said something really good uh, last weekend about forgiveness. I, I liked it a lot. Because we're always wanting them to get what they deserve, and we also think they need to earn their forgiveness. But that's what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is is that you did wrong. You don't deserve forgiveness. It wouldn't be forgiveness if you deserved it. Well, and, and it's true. We want somebody. Somebody's got to pay. We always want somebody to pay. Somebody's got to pay. And here's the thing. Jesus paid for what they did against you. He already paid for that. And I heard Joel say it just last week because he was talking on shame and regret. Uh, Joel just said, you know, uh, that Jesus paid the price in full. It's all paid. For all sin. So he, he, in the same way, you're like, well, somebody's got to pay. Well, somebody did pay. He did pay. It was Jesus that paid. Right. They're walking out of the restaurant. You're like, well, you got to pay for that. And Jesus is like, no, 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 I got it. I got it. Over here. Like Dumb and Dumber. Well, that's not fair. They need to pay. Seabass and the boys said they'll pay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring yeah, it over here. Yeah, bring it over here. <laughs> and then they get in the truck and he's like, so now what happens in this? This is off a movie. So yeah. I saw this in a movie. Yeah. He's like, what happens? Oh, they catch up to him down the road and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good thing. <laughs> Not a good and thing. And so often we want justice. Right. Because we feel like somebody's got to judge what people are doing and then pay for what they're doing. But here's what's, what we always and, forget and, is that we don't get what we deserve. Okay. Right? Praise God. We didn't Thank get what the we Lord deserve. I don't get what I deserve. So then why do I want you to pay your $10? Because that, that was one of the great parables. You owe me $10. Give me my $10. I throw you in jail. Mm -hmm. But then the, 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 the ruler goes, yeah, but you owed me $16 million and I, I washed that away. Why are you holding him when... Jesus, I forgave you. I and, forgave and you. And so get this picture with the, the parable you just brought up is that he was forgiven first. Right. And so we also were forgiven, forgiven first, first so that we might draw from a well of forgiveness. Thank you, Jason. I was forgiven first, so now I'm going to forgive. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass the gravy, he said. <laughs> Don't drown in the gravy. you got to pass the gravy. Now, how long are you allowed to hold on to your anger, though? Because there is a time limit. 
Oh, till the end of the night. You can do that. Like, the, if you want. The, like, if you just want to be so mad. You want to like, be mad. He's you know like, what? I'm not going to let it go. I'm not going to let it go. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to hold it. They don't deserve it. And God says, let's put a timer on it, though. i tell you what. When the sun goes down, don't let the sun go down on your anger. It's almost like God said, all right, get, just let them have it. Because just... there's, there's new mercy tomorrow. And you'll need the new mercy tomorrow for the new set of things you have to forgive. Thank you. So you had mercy for today. Use the mercy you got for today on that, that thing. thing. Then, it, which God gave you does mercy. Does that feel good to start what over? mercy is? Mercy is when you don't get what you deserved. Right. Right? Grace is I'm blessed even though I haven't done anything to be blessed. But mercy, mercy is, is I don't get the punishment and the wrath that I have coming. Right. And that's what we need to be full of grace and mercy for people in yeah. our world. Yeah. Make sure that we love them. Well, I, I, it's not fair. I know it's not fair. But don't fight with them. That's the key. Let's look at the scripture. Just look at the scripture. Just don't fight with people. Just don't fight with people. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. If you want to win, love, just love them until Christ cuts in their heart. And then the builder, the Thank carpenter, you, the yes. high priest, Get it, God. Starts, the Holy Spirit circumcises their heart. If you want to perform a coup on somebody <laughs> that you want to see change in your life, if you want to take over the government of their heart and get them, right? Wow. Get them on the right path, then give them Jesus because right. he's the... He's the new government. He's the kingdom of God government. He's the king of kings and lord of lords. And if you can make him the lord of their life, checkmate. You got it. I like a coup. If you want to overthrow them, love them. <laughs> Just love them. Just love, love them. Jesus Attack right into their them hearts. with love. Even tell yourself, I'm going to love them. Yep. I'm going to love you so hard. I'm going to love you. <laughs> I'm going to forgive you. That'll teach you. Yeah, I'm going to forgive you. And I'm not just going to forgive you. I'm going to ask God to forgive you. <laughs> so powerful. So what Stefan did, Father, forgive them. They were stoning him to death. He was like, hey. He looked up to heaven. He said, Father, forgive them. What a power. Mm. Pray over the day. Father God, I thank you and praise you, Lord, for this message. Just teaching us not to fight. We're not fighting with people, Father God, but we're fighting with other things, things that are behind the scenes, spiritual things, demonic forces, Satan, the oppressor, the temptations of the world, the prince of the air. We're fighting with the lusts of the flesh and all the things that go on in an evil and dark fallen world. We thank you, Father God, that, that we let go of those places where we want to fight with people. And instead, Lord, we recognize that, that our real battle is, is not with people. We thank you, Father God, that the battle is yours. We give it to you. And Lord, where we need to forgive somebody, we let it go right now. We just let it go. In Jesus' name, we're choosing right now. We're going to try this new love strategy on these, in our workplace. We're going to try this new love strategy in our marriage, with our children, with our family, with our, our extended family, with our neighbors. We're going to try this love strategy, Lord, because this love strategy never fails. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Click. You get that clip uh, to watch the, the teaching. Yeah. Yeah, watch the teaching. And uh, be in church this weekend. Don't forget, if you got a prayer request, there's a number you can... Uh, uh, do there. If you want to get a text every day, there's another number you can text. Mm -hmm. And uh, every day you get a little text and you can go boop, boop, and uh, go right to the uh, wake up show. Yep. Don't forget to share it. Bologna sandwich it. Yeah, bologna sandwich. All right. See you tomorrow.